What led to Stanfa taking over for Scarfo? Stanfa, that, that was almost an aberration. Stanfa was born and raised in Sicily, came to America uh, as an adult, was already a made guy in, in Sicily. Um, had connections in New York to the Gambino family, came down to Philadelphia with an introduction to Bruno. Um, you know, this is my friend John Stanford. What can you do for him? And Stanford became a, a, a lesser player in the Bruno organization. But Stanford was the driver on the night Bruno was killed. He drove Bruno home. And a lot of people believe Stanford was part of that conspiracy. So, uh, I mean, it's almost a soap opera. Stanford and, and all the guys, there were four or five guys involved in the Bruno hit. Four of them turn up dead in the aftermath. It was a, a an underworld uh, double cross. The guys that, that killed Bruno, Tony Bananas Caponegro, the consigliere, thought he had the okay from New York. He didn't. Uh, the Genovese family set him up, uh, lied to him. So Caponegro is, it turns up dead. Two or three other guys turn up dead. And Stanford goes on the run. Stanford disappears. And for, I guess, a year and a half, He's he's on the run. He finally they find him at a pizzeria down in Maryland, connected to the Gambino family, and he gets arrested and he's jailed, sent to jail for eight years for perjury, lied to a grand jury for the Bruno investigation, and Stanford basically sits out the whole bloody Scarfo era, or else he would have been a dead man if he was on the streets. So he sits. He's, he's a guest of the federal government. Now he comes out in 1989, I think. Scarfo's been indicted and is in jail, and the guys in New York say to Stanford, listen, go back to Philadelphia, try to put that family back together. And I remember people talking about this. I remember writing about it. Oh, you know, the Philadelphia's going to go back to the old ways. This is a Sicilian mob boss, old school, blah, blah, blah. Stanford, you know, spoke with a Sicilian accent and came from Sicily, but he was more Scarfo than he was Bruno. He was also a very violent guy. And the destabilization of the crime family continued right up and through uh, the 1990s.